launch control activated. NGS. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're kidding me. Today, I'm driving the Kona N. Spoiler alert. If you watched the Elantra N versus the GTI, well, you'd know that we had to race it against the Kona N. So, I'm driving the Kona N DCT. And on my right side, we have the 2022 Golf GTI. This is the new generation. It's quite an interesting one. We've raced it before. This time we're gonna put them head to head to find out in a quarter mile which one is the faster one. It is the Kona N. Now technically the Kona N would be a little bit faster because it makes more horsepower. The Golf I GTI did lose against the Elantra N, just a spoiler alert, you can watch that video. Now we want to see with the Kona N because the Kona N is technically slower than the Elantra N. Maybe this would be a closer one because they technically kind of look like hatchbacks. This is sort of like a CUV hatchback style. So let's talk about some of the specs. On this side, I'm driving the 2-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged Kona N making 276, 286 with NGS and 289 pound-feet of torque. It uses an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, but it is front-wheel drive and it is heavy in comparison to the GTI. The Golf GTI uses a DCT as well. It's a 2-liter turbocharged intercool inline 4 making 241 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. And it is a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. The curb weight is 3,154. Technically, power-to-weight ratio, this is kind of like a equal because this Kona N is heavier, but it makes more horsepower. And it also grips well. Now, the beautiful thing is that for the first time, our runway has been paved, it's fixed, it's fresh, as you can see from the video it's gonna be a very good race. And I'm happy because it was kind of falling apart a little bit. Now we have it brand new, so there's no more excuses. Grip should be fantastic. And we should be able to launch this car and have a great start because they're both front wheel drive. So, as I usually say, let's roll. Big thank you for today's video goes to Omaze who have sponsored today's video. Omaze are a company on a mission to transform the typical charitable giving. They give people a chance to win one of a lifetime prizes all whilst helping nonprofits make the world a better place. The Bronco has $80,000 worth of upgrades. This thing it is powered by a 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine making 310 brake horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. So, for your chance to win a custom to Birdie Ford Bronco, please visit omaze.com slash samcarlegion and enter now. Okay, sir, um, I have my Ninan mode. Activate launch control. Uh, let me just try this. Um, okay, what the hell, come on. Okay, I'm ready on the side. Are you ready with launch control? Okay, I'm good to go, sir. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel.
hold on, it's just giving me launch control, not mat. Oh, there we go. I'm good. Activation lasts for five minutes. Okay. Um, um, I am ready. Yeah. Launch control activated. NGS. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're... This is heavier, that's why. This is heavier, that's why. Oh man, you're kidding me. Okay, Kieran, uh, just follow my lead. We're gonna do 50 kilometers an hour. Just stay right beside me. When you hit the cone over there, the second cone, not the first, not the first over there. When you hit the second cone, that's when you go, but keep it in automatic mode for this one, okay? You're doing 50? Exactly, 50 kilometers an hour, 30 miles per hour. Just follow my lead, just follow me and stay right beside me. That's all that matters. Let's roll. Okay, we gotta keep on the NGS. Gears are good. NGS. And grin is on. Oh, the roll is way different. One Mini Cooper. Not so much. Okay, sir, perfect. Just follow my lead, keep it like close to me. We're gonna try to get it 100 kilometers an hour. I am ready on my side. Are you ready? Hey, let's do it. Let's roll! NGS. Ah, the higher speed is getting me. It's getting me. Not far, not far, not far. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Damn. Okay, this was good. Ratio. Well, that's this is so much fun. This, uh, you see, at a higher speed, probably your car was at the right gear, correct? Definitely in a better gear there. That's you see. This is why we do two runs. We do one in a sixty because each car in automatic mode. It's and in manual mode, people ask me all the time, "Why don't you do it in manual mode?" The problem is that people mess up, and we could be here all day long to get the cars in the right gear. They either shift too early or too late, and they don't. It's, it's really hard, and each car is different. So even if you got a uh, a racing driver, he'd still mess up too because you know it's not used to that. So this is why I do it just in automatic mode. That way we know what's happening. Nonetheless, Kieran, again, thank you so much for joining us for another race. I really appreciate that. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Yeah, the Germans have a vengeance and they're here to prove a point, but damn, Hyundai is a crazy brand. I, I'm, I'm surprised. 
See, the thing is that the Elantra N1, because it's lighter than this, I believe, and it, it technically, although Hyundai says 286 with NGS, I think that makes like 300 to the wheels. And I, the first time I drove it, I said to myself, this thing is not. And I know the Kona N is not as fast, and I think because the weight and all that stuff, but that thing, for some reason, it is tuned differently than this, and I could be wrong. On paper, technically, the Elantra N is faster. Nonetheless, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, I hope you can enjoy us for another time. Thank you so much, it's been great as always. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and check out my other videos on my channel.